Hey there, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So this is the lesson 7 of the Corporate Explainer Animation course and in this lesson, we will create this sliding door opening animation in After Effects. And if you have missed the previous lessons of this course, then you can check it out from the playlist link that is provided in the description. And also you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we are using throughout this course from our website that is again linked in the description and also in the pinned comment section. So after downloading the open file of this course from our website, you will get an After Effects practice file inside the AEP folder. So you can use this After Effects project file and continue with the lessons of this course. So in this project, all the precomps and the imported assets and even the layers are properly organized. So that being said, without any further delay, let's dive right into Adobe After Effects. Okay, we are in After Effects. So let's get inside the project panel and let's open frame number one. Okay, so in frame number one, first we're going to animate the light signals. But the problem is everything here in the illustration is in a single layer. So we would need each and every element of these light signals uh, in a separate layer to animate the light bulbs. So for that, let's get inside Adobe Illustrator. So let's select only this particular graphics, copy it, open a new Illustrator file and paste it over here. Let's go to layers and let's separate it. And now let's name these layers. And save this file to your desired location. Okay, now let's get back to After Effects. And now let's import the light signals with the layer separated, which we have created just now. Let's drag and drop it here in the timeline on top of the title layer. And let's get inside the composition. So first, let's select this violet and the red light and convert it into shape layer by going to create and create shape from vector layer. Let's delete this illustration layers. Also turn on the continuous rasterize. Now let's use region of interest to remove the extra space from this composition. Go to composition, crop comp to region of interest. Get back to frame number one and let's reposition it. Okay, now let's delete this illustration layer. Again, uh, there was a shadow below this layer, so for that we can apply drop shadow. Let's decrease the opacity to 25% and let's duplicate it one more time. So inside the project panel, let's click and drag this composition into asset folder and this layers, the illustration layers into EI folder to stay organized in this project. Now let's get inside the light signals and let's start with animating the color of these light bulbs. So let's start with uh, the violet colored bulb. Open the color property inside crop, inside strokes. So we will uh, animate the color property. So we are not going to animate it from the very start. Let's keep like around four seconds at the start still. And now let's start the animation from this frame. Add a keyframe. Let's jump on to next four frames. Let's change the color to yellow. Let's keep two frames of pause. Now let's jump on to next four frames again and copy and paste this keyframe. And let's change it back to the violet color. Let's ease the keyframe. Let's jump on to next two frame. So we are adding two frame pause. So we can copy and paste this one more time to repeat this animation. And with this, we got two blinks. From here, we can move to the next two frames and copy and paste it one more time. With this, we got total four blinks. And after that, we will jump on to next four frames. And let's change this to green. And this is how it looks like. Okay, now let's animate the red color. So we will only animate the red colored bulb uh, when the when this bulb is turning from uh, yellow or from violet to green. So let's open the color property, add a keyframe, press U to only open the properties with keyframe and let's move the playhead at the end. From here, we are going to turn this from red to blue. This is the keyframe. Let's check it. 
Okay, now let's animate the sliding door. So in frame one, these are the door layers. So we will start with adding a null object. Let's name it R door. Let's duplicate it one more time and let's rename it L door. So R door for left side of the door and L door for the right side of the door. Let's move it and place it on top of the door layers. Let's place the R door on top of the red side, the right side of the door and the L door on the left side of the door. Let's parent this with the null objects. And one more thing, we have a matte layer over here. So we can simply select all these door layers illustration and use the matte layer as an alpha matte. Now we will animate the door when the color of this light bulb, like uh, the violet color is changing from violet to green and the red color is changing from red to blue. So after this, the door is going to start animating. So let's select the uh, null objects, open the position property, add a keyframe, let's jump on to like around 40 frames. And now let's move the right, right door on the right side like this. And the left door on the left side. Easy is the keyframes. Let's move on to the motion graph editor. Let's ease it at the end. Let's slightly decrease the ease at the start. And one more thing, when the door is opening, we have one side or the edge of the door. So it should be visible while the door is opening due to the perspective. So we will even animate this layer. Let's move the playhead at the start and let's select the door side layer of the right door and also of the left door. Open the position property, add a keyframe and let's move the playhead at the end. And here we will move it in the opposite direction so that it gets exposed uh, when the door is opening. And after that, we should match the motion graph with the door opening animation. So for that, we can select the set of keyframes. Then we are using Ease Copy. It's a free plugin which you can use to copy and paste motion graphs from one set of keyframes to the other set of keyframes. And it's absolutely free. You can download it from ascript.com and I will provide the link of that in the description. So select the set of keyframes, go to Ease Copy, copy it, then select the other set of keyframes uh, which you want to match with the keyframes motion graph. So these are linear keyframes and we will uh, click on is in the paste section. Now in the motion graph, we have exactly matched the motion graph. And if we check off the animation, this is how it looks. All right, so that's the end of this video. And in the next lesson, we will learn how to rig characters using Dweek Angular. So that is it. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.